and blow kids to form in here at the factory. How long have you been working here now? I've worked here ever since I was a young lad. I've helped out in the yard when I was 8, 9, 10 with my dad, just doing odd jobs. But for the last seven years, I've worked here full time. Yeah, and uh, how long has the factory been open now? 148 years. Yeah. I'll be the fifth generation to be employed and working here. Right. And I actually grew up with Josh and his brother Mitch and uh, and your whole family. It's hard to believe that after after this week, the factory will be no more. Yeah, it's been here for a long time in Renfrew, and uh, a lot of people didn't even know when uh, went on behind these doors. So a lot of people have been coming in to see what it's all about. Well, that's just it. I think I've known you guys probably 15 years, and this is only the second time that, that, that I've actually been behind yeah. these doors. So can you tell me a little bit about why exactly you guys are, are going to be closing down? A lot of it's supply and demand. A lot of products have switched to being what they're being made of. So cast iron is not as, as much of a demand as it used to be. And then a lot of imports coming in have driven the price down to a point where we can't compete anymore yeah. to keep operational. And it was your grandfather. Great, great grandfather. Great, great grandfather that actually started in yeah. Emblem and Sons. Yeah, he came over from Trois River Air and uh, opened the foundry here on its present location. Yeah. So what are we looking at right now? What are the guys working on? Uh, these guys are working on racks for Toronto Hydro. What it is is part of their underground system so they'll go underground in subway tunnels and sewer tunnels and they'll actually run the power lines underground on it. Oh wow. So why do they need to be uh, ground down like this? They're being finished right now. After they're poured there's some impurities along the edges where the two faces come together okay. so they're taking off all the rough edges and the sharp edges. Okay. And, uh, and you said that they're for Toronto Hydro. Yeah. Huh. yeah. So what different types of products did you, did you make before? Uh, a lot of work for Toronto Hydro and for the sewers and uh, we made some stuff for Haley Industries here in town, uh, cones for USS manufacturing that go on their light poles, and uh, any other odds and ends that people are looking for. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, okay, so they're, they're being ground down, and uh, well, how did the whole process start? So first we have to mold them in green sand, and then they're uh, poured with liquid iron, and then after they're poured, they got to be taken out of the sand. The sand's removed from them in the wheel abrader, which shoots little pieces of steel shot at it. Okay. And after they're cleaned up, then they're ground, painted, and shipped out to the customer. Really? And, and how many pieces will you be sending out? Uh, that order is about 1,200. They uh, gave us a large order at the end because they wanted, they can't find them anywhere else right now. So they, it was a really nice finish. And how big is your team here in the factory? Uh, we're 11 in total. So how long will it take you guys to make 1,200 of them? That was about four months worth of work. That wow. Yeah. So a little bit later in the show, we are going to be looking at that's a cupola. Cupola? Yeah. Okay, and that's where the raw metal actually goes in. Yeah, we put it in the raw cast iron, and it's all scrap metal, all recycled, okay. and uh, it's poured in a mold cast, and it's uh, distributed throughout the molds. Okay, so that's.